Ubiquiti have finally released the U6 Pro, adding to the range of the U6 lineup, which has the Lite and the LR already. In this video today, we're going to compare all three of these access points and see what kind of throughput and speed we can get in different areas of my house. For this, I will be using the Wi-Fi Man app while doing these tests. And I've done this before and it gives me the reading of the throughput, speed and signal strength. Also, when I've done this in the past, I've been told I don't give the location of my access point and where I am in comparison in my house. So I'm going to show you this as well. For this test, I will be giving all three of these access points all the same settings and I'll turn them off when they're not being used. So there's no impact on the results. For the 5 GHz radio, the Pro and the LR have a 4x4 multi-in, multi-out and the Lite has a 2x2. For multi-user, multi-in, multi-out, they're up and down. The Pro and the LR both have 160 MHz capabilities and for the LR it's 2x2 and the Pro 4x4. In terms of throughput for this radios, the Lite comes in at 1200 megabits per second, Pro at 4800 megabits per second and the LR at 2400 megabits per second. Now the 2.4 GHz radio, this unfortunately is not as exciting as some of the specs of the 5 GHz but the Lite and the Pro have 2x2 MIMO and the LR has 4x4. Alongside this, the throughput is not as impressive either. That's due to the limitations of the radio though. The Lite has 300 megabits per second, the Pro has 574 and the LR 600. I won't go too much more into the technical details as we'll be running some tests on the signal strength and throughput. Before I go ahead and plug everything in, I've left everything on these access points as default except from changing the 5 GHz range from 40 to 80. The RF scanner shows the access points all have low interference in this area. The layout of the house is, I've just divided it into three sections on the first floor and ground floor. You can just imagine there's uh, three rooms downstairs and three rooms upstairs. We'll go with the first floor first. So we have the access point pretty much in this room here. You can imagine there's two stud walls in between. Um, and we have the first test, which is directly near it. So this will be right underneath it basically, so it's literally above my head almost. Um, so that's test one. Uh, test two will be going to the furthest room in the house, so we'll be running a test from here. And final, the test will be downstairs at the furthest point away from the AP um, in this sort of area. So it gives you a rough idea. Here is my table for the test. This is what we're gonna be running the tests on. So let's go ahead and jump into the first one. So I have already done these tests and I'm gonna be talking you through them as they happen. Let's jump in with the speed test. So we're getting approximately 430 megabits per second. I think that topped out at, um, in terms of the download speed, which is reasonable. Um, and then my down upload speed, I'm only ever going to get between 40 and 50. I'm never going to get more than that. So that's not really too much of a test, but that gives you an idea of the speed. And then we move on to the signal mapper. So this is where I look at the signal strength. So obviously it's great. The signal's quite high because I am in the same room as it. And throughput testing, I'm getting about 600, 650 megabits per second, roughly there or thereabouts. So let's run test number two now. This is about 300 and 10, 320 megabit, 310 megabits per second in terms of download speed. Then let's move on to the signal mapper. So minus 63, 64 is what is hovering between. It is saying it's a great signal um, compared to the minus 40 we were getting inside the room. Um, and in terms of throughput, we're still getting 450, 440 megabits per second, somewhere around there, which is still really good. Now this is the one I really wanted to put to the test. This is the Wi-Fi 6 Lite at the furthest point in the house. And I'm still getting 35 megabits per second, but you can see it's dropped on to the 2.4 gigahertz network. In terms of the signal mapper, uh, it's fine. I mean, it's it's still fair, the signal usage. It's not too bad, minus 66, uh, minus 65 hovering somewhere around there. And um, then in terms of the throughput, we're showing similar to what sort of speeds we're getting. So 35 to 40 megabits per second in terms of throughput. So I'm actually surprised with the range that I got from this Wi-Fi light access point, but hey, it's, uh, it's not too bad. So let's move on to the Pro range now and let's start with the speed test in the studio. So this is climbing quite quickly, 400, 450, 500, I think we'll probably get to about 520, 530. Yeah, it's about 530 megabits per second. We have about minus 49 and it jumped to minus 45, so getting a little bit better, 44, still better, but 
obviously as you'd expect you're inside the studio the signal is going to be fairly good moving on to the throughput testing we're hovering around 710 720 maybe yeah 720 or even 730 megabits per second in terms of the throughput again in the same room so still reasonable in terms of what that is so the speed in the other room we're climbing 280 about 330 megabits per second and the upload again 40 again bear in mind I've kept these all as default apart from the channel width which I've changed on the 5 gigahertz range from 40 to 80 so let's take a look at the signal mapper so we're 63 64 so in line to where we are with the light version if you have a look on the table it's around similar in terms of signal strength in terms of throughput we're getting around 500 yeah, about 500 to 510 megabits per second, roughly there or thereabouts. So let's take a quick look at the speed test at the furthest point in the house for test 3, and that is around 70 megabits per second, we're roughly getting there, and in terms of upload, 40 to 50 again, or even 30 at this point, 25 to 30. Um, again, it has dropped to the 2.4 gigahertz range. Uh, in terms of the signal strength for 2.4 gigahertz, it's great. Remember the 2.4 gigahertz signal does travel further than the 5 gigahertz, uh, around 64 to 65, minus 64 to 65. And in terms of throughput testing, we're about 60 megabits per second, which is similar to the sort of speeds we were getting. So let's move on to the final testing, which is the studio uh, for the long range. So we're getting about 490 megabits per second, I think that topped out at. Then we take a look at the signal mapper, we have minus 44, which again is obviously great as you would expect being in the same room. And the throughput is about 890, 900, I think that almost touched in terms of the throughput for the access point. Let's move on to test two in the other room. So 380, 390 megabits per second. I think I was even close to 400. Then we move on to the signal strength. So minus 76 on this one. So this one's actually coming up fair. So this is actually supposed to be obviously the long range version. Again, I'll say it again, none of these have been tweaked other than the channel width, and we're getting minus 76 on this. In terms of throughput, we're getting about 5, I think that was 580, 590, but it's 530 at the moment, 540. There we go, it's climbing back up again. Even 600 megabits per second that just hit. So let's move on to the last test now. So this is still in the 5 gigahertz range, as you can see at the top. Um, I am at the test number 3, so the furthest point in the house. And if we look at the signal mapper, again, as I just mentioned, it's poor. We're on the edge of the 5 gigahertz range. And you can see just there that that actually in real time switched from 5, 5 gigahertz to 2.4 gigahertz. If we quickly move across to the throughput now as well, we will have a quick look at what happened just there. So you can see how the speed just drastically dropped uh, from very high to very low. So we're getting about a 60 megabit per second throughput now because we're on the 2.4 gigahertz range. There we go, there's all the results of the three tests. You can see them in the top corner here. And if you ever wanna refer back to what tests we're doing, they're just here on this side. Overall, they are what we expected out of the box. Uh, as you get to the bigger versions, you get slightly better throughput and a slightly better range. And again, one final time, I'll mention it before, just in case you didn't hear it before. I haven't changed any of the settings. These are all standard out of the box. They have the latest firmware. And that's it. We've changed the channel width from 40 to 80, and then we've ran these tests. I hope you found this video useful. Remember to hit that like button, and do remember to subscribe as well if you like watching me or like watching tech content. All the links are in the description below, and if you want to support the channel, there's more info in there too. This is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.